Okay, it has been seven hours. It is two o'clock, and my my wheat has risen. My uh, einkorn wheat has risen over there, the, the brown loaves. Uh, the white, there's the white rolls. They look okay. They're not near like they should be, um, but I wasn't expecting good results. My pita bread has risen some, not huge, uh, and, but I do feel like it's a little hard around the edges. My uh, wheat rolls look nice over there. Uh, first, I'm going to bake my pita bread, and I'm going to bake it on three, uh, um, I'm sorry, 450, and I'll let you know when it's through baking how long I actually baked it, because I really, I'm going to try uh, two minutes and see what happens. And I've got to put my convection on. I forget that sometimes. But here it goes. I'm going to put my pitas in, and I will let you know in just a minute how it turns out. My tire is going to go off, and I'm going to check my pita. I just thought I'd show y'all that. Um, it's starting to puff here. I just don't know. I've never done it like this before, so it's really soft still. I'm going to put it back in for another two minutes and check then. Mm, I'm starting to smell them. They smell so good. see what the other side looks oh yeah I don't know if you can see that but it looks really it's browning on the other side so I think it's a good decision to turn them over so I cooked them for four minutes and I'm turning them over and I'm probably gonna just cook them for two minutes again and check them Whew, that looks nice no see how brown they are Ooh, they have a good feeling to them through the spatula anyway. Like they're gonna feel, they're gonna be like real pita. Okay. Okay, now that was a total of six minutes for our pita bread. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at the other side, cause this side, yes, I believe that is going to be very good. So, I'm going to cool these on the rack right here. And I hope that you were able to hear everything. Uh, I forgot we're on, I'm taping on, I'm, I'm recording on my cell phone and not the other camera. So, I hope I was talking loud enough. If not, I'm going to recap that I cooked these pitas four minutes at 450. And then I turned them over and cooked them another two minutes on 450. That is with convection, so that may make a little bit of a difference. Um, I'm going to let those cool, and I, I'm going to put my oven uh, on four, 400 to bake the rolls. I also have some butter sitting here on the stove because I do brush the tops of my bread and rolls with butter. So, okay. So here we go. They'll bake at 450 for 10 minutes. Turn my convection on. Next will be our bread. Okay, that's the timer for the rolls. See how they've done? They could maybe do another minute or so. Let's see. My white ones, they're not, they're, they haven't browned at all. So, on the top. The bottoms have brown. You know what? I'm going to change. I'm going to put my brown rolls on the bottom and my white rolls on the top. Just kind of change that up. I do that sometimes just to make sure we have even. And I'm going to do that for two more minutes. Okay, that two minutes is up. I'm going to go ahead and put my temperature down on 350 where it can start coming down for my bread. Okay, they still haven't 
browned up like I think they should. And maybe it's because the, the brown ones, the, the wheat has. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get my bread going in the oven. We have cinnamon bread. And we also have this smaller loaf of cinnamon bread. 20 minutes is, I'm gonna set my timer for 20 minutes and then reset it for 10 more minutes because the bigger loaves take 30 minutes. So I'm just gonna do 20 minutes on here for when it's time to take out the small loaf. If I don't do that, I'll leave it in there the whole time and it'll be too brown. So, okay. Now, I'm a, I, I, I forgot to tell y'all this, that I brush the top of my bread and my rolls with butter. When they come out the oven, it makes them nice and soft. And another thing I forgot to tell you too, that, that I've done, uh, with making the pita bread, I forgot that you're supposed to put them in a brown paper bag and that helps them to soften up because they were really getting, they were kind of crisp around the edges and so I've put them in a, brand, in a paper bag and I'll show them to you in just a minute. It's just been 12 minutes since I took them out because remember, I took those out before I did the, the rolls. So as soon as I get the rolls out of the way, I'll show you the pita bread. And what I like about these pans, I just took them out. It's not been edited and I can touch them. And so when I'm working at this farmer's market, it's a lot quicker to better get my stuff out. But I will tell you something, this is a heavy roll. I don't know if they're gonna be edible or not. And these uh, uh, cooling racks are on Amazon. Tommy's put them on the cart, and I really would love to have another three pack of them because I was checking my camera angle because I really love them. Now I won't be able to take these rolls out like that because they're not hooked together. These rolls rose up a lot better than those rolls did. I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. I'm going to break one open because we'll have to try it with a little butter. But it looks very good on the inside. So this will be my sample piece. cinnamon that has leaked out of my pan. I don't know what's going on with that, so either Tommy will edit this out or you'll just have to deal with this with me. Uh, I don't know what, what that's about, but I'm going to double pan it. It's obvious that it's my cinnamon one. It had some liquid in there. I thought I had just put too much oil in the pan, but uh, I don't know what to do to get that out of there. I guess it's just gonna have to cook in there right now because it's very hot. Anyway, let's see. Now I was gonna show you the pita bread. Let me see how it's doing. Now, it has, it's softened up a lot. Now I couldn't roll this up, but it's still a little crunchy right here. I didn't put them in here right away, and that was my mistake. And I probably, I probably would be better if I had a smaller bag too, to hold and it, to to make the the moisture, the steam, I guess is what it is. So anyway, there is that, and the bread. Oh, I didn't. Yes, I did. I set my timer. Remember, the small loaves go 20 minutes, regardless if it's cinnamon or regular, and the big loaves go 30. And I'll be back in just a minute to show you the bread coming out. All right, that's my 20-minute timer for my cinnamon bread. And it's brown on top. My small loaf, my small loaf of cinnamon bread, only 10, uh, 20 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put 10 more minutes on my clock. And I will put butter on this once I do the other loaves because I don't want the cinnamon to get on my brush to get on my regular bread. So that's why I'm waiting to do the butter. Normally I would do it right away. Okay, that's the 30 minute timer for the bread. 
And here's the white um, cinnamon bread. And here's just the white loaf. And it did rise up a little bit as it baked. So I'm glad of that. I don't find my einkorn rose anymore when it was baking, but it turned out nice and pretty too. I'm gonna brush the tops with a little butter. It just makes it look nice, not dry. This I'm kind. It looks a little on the dark side. I hope it's not uh, too much. Like I said, I'm doing my cinnamon bread last because if I get a little cinnamon on my brush. I don't want to put it on my plain bread. So now I'm going to show you how I take the bread out of these pans, how simple it is. Of course, this one's not hot really because it's been out for 10 minutes. It may not come out as easy, but it just, it dumps out. And see, this is a little moist and it's because it sat in the pan. So I'm going to set that there to cool. <clears throat> but see, these just came out of the oven and you can just dump them right into your hand. I'm a little scared of that one. That's the one that had a little liquid come out. So um, <laughs> I'm going to dump it on the counter. Because I didn't want to get any liquid on my hands. Whew, and that's hot. And this is the iron corn. And it turned out nice and pretty. So I also wanted to show y'all, these are the bags that I use. Um, they're twist tie, great value. These have uh, actually have bagels on them. I've seen them have some berries on them too. Um, but they're just uh, gallon size bags. They're not Ziploc bags, which Ziploc will work fine, but with me doing for the farmer's market, this is like a bread bag. And so this is what I use. And also, you wanna bag your bread before it gets totally cool, but mostly cool because um, uh, it'll keep them, it'll make it make your uh, stuff soft. So I'm going to go ahead and bag the rolls up. But I want to show you what, uh, what I've been doing while I was baking. This is what I've been making and started to eat. So this is my rolls or buns with tomatoes. So anyway, I'm fixing to enjoy mine. I'm going to get these bagged up and let me know how your experience has, has gone, and uh, we'll see you on the next adventure together. I surely have enjoyed our time together and going through this series. I want to show you my loaf of bread, because uh, somebody was talking about how theirs wasn't real smooth on top. Mine wasn't either, and you see it looks like that, but it's, that's still fine. If there was a little white flour in here, uh, it would have risen up a bigger, taller loaf, but it's, it's kind of uh, compact, and and uh, I can't think of the right word. But anyway, it has a very, very good taste. I've eaten one roll with butter already. And now I'm gonna have these rolls with tomatoes. So anyway, we're gonna be starting another series. It'll only be a short series. We're gonna um, do some cinnamon rolls and with our starter. And I've even looked up a, a French bread recipe. I love French bread. So we may try that together too. Anyway, see you next time.